I guess I'm what they call a slow starter, particularly before a big hill day. We stretch, a big yawn, and then it's time to gee old two legs as first orders of the day. Hey you, come on, get my breakfast on. I guess it must have been just after ten when we finally got down to the car. Now the APL likes to take his time getting ready for the hop, so I usually bark like blazes. This gets right up his goat, and I reckon we get away that wee bit earlier than would if I didn't do it. Now, I always like to get a wee kip in on the car journey to the hill, so I usually spread myself out in the back seat and let Doug's best friend do the driving. This way, I'm well rested and raring to go by the time we get where we're going. It was hot going up from the off, so I took it a bit easy. Mind you, I wasn't the only one feeling the heat, and we'd only been going about half an hour when we ran into an old boy from Edinburgh having a fag break. The humans started gabbing on rubbish, so I had to sniff around his gear. I find anything I liked. Then the APL tries to pan me off with some doggy donut crap for Sainsbury's, but I'm no having it. He's got gammon sandwiches in that box, and they'll do me nicely. Just then, I see some old pals of mine, and I'm off, off ski. Cassie, come here. Anyway, that ended badly for us. I got sidetracked by an interesting smell, then I rolled over in sheep's jobbies by mistake. I made a right wee idiot of myself. He filmed it, so I'm not speaking to him now. Then, to cap it all, I'm putting the lead. He always does that when I try to chase by the day fluffy white dogs that go pa pa instead of woof woof. Still, we're nearly at the top now. I was having no luck trying to scrounge another gammon sandwich when a trio of Munro baggers for Aberdeen arrived on tap. And pretty soon one of them asked the APL how many Munros has the daft wee dog done? Now you would think he would know that, but does he hell? Oh, by the way. APL stands for Aspiring Pack Leader. That's my nickname for Martin Scorsese on the camera. Back at the car park, he tries to suck in with us, but I'm just no having it. He let them call me a daft wee dog and said nothing. When we get back home, I met myself right and comfy in his bed. He can sleep on the flare. Aye, it's a dog's life, all right. What you want? Hey, Peter, this is my bed, and there's no room for you in here, big gun. You try the basket down there in the flare, on you go. Oh, this is nice and comfy, by the way. Oh, it's a dog's life. <laughs>